Hey guys, this is the PGP Vlog Team. We just interviewed Rebecca Christensen, a physics professor at Olin, about her experience in graduate school and other information about graduate school. If you are interested or are considering graduate school, be sure to check out the web series, which covers topics from the application process all the way to Rebecca's graduate school advice. I chose to go to grad school because I knew I always wanted to be a college professor and obviously having a PhD is a prerequisite for the job. I also wanted to go to grad school because I felt like as an undergraduate I had not gotten as much depth, as much knowledge as I wanted to in my chosen field and that was the way to get more. I had a, a mixed experience with grad school, I think it would be safe to say. I, uh, I had a successful graduate experience by anyone's measure. I finished my program, I did a lot of really good research, I made some very good friends during graduate school. It was a rough ride though. I, my advisor, I chose an advisor who was a very senior professor, uh, a professor who was not always around all the time, and uh, it was a very big group. I learned to be very independent very fast, but it was a rough road at the very beginning. Within a couple of years I settled into it and it was okay, but it's something to keep in mind. You're going to have a very different experience with a very senior research advisor versus a very junior research advisor. Uh, you're going to have a very different experience uh, in terms of how hands-on they are, how much they're in the lab, how much they're sort of paying lots of attention to exactly what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. versus whether they're giving you a lot more independence and letting you determine the course of your own research. Now, either one of these could be appealing to you, so as I said before, you need to pick your research advisor, figure out what their uh, mode of operation with their uh, research students is. Um, there can be very bad research experiences, or graduate experiences in general, I should say. Um, I have had many friends who have had bad research experiences, bad graduate experiences, mostly because of the interactions with the people in the group or with their research advisors. Uh, so it's very important to get that information up front.